as I'm watching Alice grow and, and experience the world in new ways, I've spent a lot of time thinking about Jesus' statement that, you know, if, if you want to see the kingdom of heaven, if you want to achieve the kingdom of heaven, if you want to reach the kingdom of heaven, whatever, however you want to describe it, he says you must first become like a little child. So, I, you know, as I, as I watch Alice as a little child, exploring the world and seeing her see things that I've been seeing for years for the first time. I've been thinking a lot about that. What does it mean to be like a little child? And I've been also thinking about because it's been hot. And one of the great things about the summer, pools, cool water, sprinklers, all that fun stuff. Remember, the, you know, the, the slip and slides. I don't even know if they still have those. But I've been thinking about that, becoming a little child, how children love that aspect of summer with this, the sacrament of baptism. And while, first let me say, I, I know there's, you know, the, dip, the depth of imagery and significance around baptism. And, and what I've been thinking about is just one aspect of that and in no way detracts from some of the other, perhaps, you know, more appropriate understandings of baptism. But thinking about baptism in light of becoming a little child, well, just let me ramble for a bit here. I remember my own, my own encounters with water, swimming, etc. And, and there was a little trepidation at first. I was not always, you know, the first one to go running and jump into a pool or jump into a lake. But once I got there and got in the water and started splashing around, oh, that's when the excitement and the joy and it, get out of the water just long enough to dry off and grab something cool to drink and rush back and jump back in, get all wet again and get out and repeat that process. Baptism has taken on uh, its, own, its own significance in the last, oh, uh, who knows how many years, centuries that really focuses on a once and done event. Now, I'm not talking about, you know, the, you know, the, the, the eternal nature of baptism. You know, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about it's, okay, yes, I have been baptized, my children have been baptized for, for whoever, and then going, well, that was nice, and then not allowing baptism to do what baptism is supposed to do for us, enliven us to be about spreading the joy of God and the truth of the gospel of Christ in the world. So what if we viewed bab baptism with that? That it's that, that encounter with the joy of being, becoming a part of the body of Christ, that what can we want to do but splash in that water and cover ourselves in that water and then get out in the world sharing a smile, sharing the laughter that we've had that we now know as the gospel of Jesus. And we share that in some of the most joyous aspects of the world, but more importantly, we take that into some of the most joyless aspects of the world as well. The injustice of the world, the hatred of the world, the, the individual uh, issues that our brothers and sisters are encountering, the homeless, the hungry, the destitute, the oppressed, the marginalized, the overlooked. What if we come out of the waters of baptism figuratively and spiritually dripping with that new life, with that joy, and then take it out into the world? To really see our baptism as the empowering us to be the children on a hot summer day that love nothing more than encountering our God and taking that joy out in the world. I mentioned earlier the slip and slides. Remember those, you know, you take off and running in the slides and some of them had little shallow pools at the end. I think we can draw a lot about our understanding and the purposes of baptism. That running down the slide and getting ready to fall and slide out of control. You know, we wonder, oh my goodness, you know, what's going to be the end result? And the next thing, sploosh, we're in the middle of a pool. And we get up and most of the time, we flirt the water off and we go, that was great. And we go, we do it all over again. That's life. We have the slipperiness. We have the chaos. The out of control nature of life that sometimes ends in even more chaos pulled out of that. And our hearts and our souls are alive with a spirit that can only be the spirit of God. And it's in those moments that the joy, being caught up in what Jesus did for us, that we can then take it out into the world and show the world the alternative to the world, the love 
the unimagined love that is the love of Christ. So, like I said, these are all ramblings. That's what I've been thinking about. Seeing the world as a little child. Entering and living in the world as a child. Coming out of the waters of baptism. Being transformed. Childlike. Resting upon the surety, the foundation of Christ. And saying, how can I take a little of the joy of Christ that I've experienced? Show that in the world. Show that in the face of oppression. Show that in the face of the brokenness of the world. So, it's nice and hot this summer. Remember your baptism. Remember your promise to engage the love of Christ. And do it joyfully for the sole purpose of helping others glimpse a little bit of joy in their life, knowing, knowing that they are loved and honored.